Kyle Shanahan wanted to go from Trey Lance to Jimmy Garoppolo. He sat Trey the first year, fine. Lots of coaches have done that. That's fine. Now you want to go to Trey Lance year two. You keep Jimmy Garoppolo. Everyone praised him for this because Kyle's a genius and he does things his own way. But no one else does this. Jim Harbaugh was at the game yesterday. When he wanted to go from Alex Smith to Colin Kaepernick, he traded Alex Smith. He got him out of the building. When Andy Reid wanted to go from Alex Smith to Patrick Mahomes, he got Alex Smith out of the building. I mean, and on and on and on and on. When it was time to go to Steve Young, they got Joe Montana out the building. Uh, Same with Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. But Kyle has to do things differently because he's a little bit smarter than everyone else. So we kept Jimmy Garoppolo. And now neither quarterback is doing... I mean, one quarterback's hurt. The other one's unprepared. It seems to me that his biggest offense with this team is this. Did I lose you? No, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I... There's so many ways that he fumbled the quarterback position. I mean, first of all, um, Andy Reid drafted Patrick Mahomes in the first place. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch signed uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. So that's the first blunder. The way he handled Trey Lance, me and you both think he should have been starting uh, last year. Uh, I still think that would have been the better decision. If you traded Jimmy, you could have got a second-round draft pick last year. Uh, that was well publicized that they were offering uh, the 49ers a second round draft pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. You could have had Trey Lance developing the whole year last year. Uh, you know, he's fumbled the posi- he's fumbled the quarterback position by the way he used Trey Lance this year. Yeah, he's, he's fumbled the quarterback position in pretty much every way that you can imagine as far as who he's choosing and then how he's using them. Also, like, look at how Andy Reid coaches Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is free to do whatever the hell he wants to do on the field. Like, that first interception he threw was awful. He's forced it in uh, to a closed middle of the field. It was a terrible decision. But Andy, if if Trey Lance did that, Kyle Shanahan would have berated him. And he would have it would have killed his confidence. Andy Reid's attitude, Patrick Mahomes' entire career is, who cares, dude? Keep throwing. Bombs away. And he's given Patrick Mahomes the, Mahomes the green light. If you remember... Uh, in the in the training camp before he became the starter that second year, he was throwing picks, a ton of picks. People were a little nervous about how he was going to play. He learned from it, and Andy Reid didn't get on his case about it, whereas Kyle Shanahan is a micromanaging negative coach who uh, will get on your case about every little mistake you make. Ask any coach he's ever coached for, him or his dad. Jake Plummer said the same thing, and that's not the right environment for a young— Trey Lance, if he had Andy Reid, would be slinging the ball all over the field, not running between the tackles. It's too bad. And learning. It's too bad. Yeah. And learning. You know, if Andy Reid was on the if Andy Reid was the 49ers head coach with Jimmy Garoppolo, it, the team would be better. They would you be can't better. you can't play freely as a young quarterback if you got Jimmy Garoppolo lurking uh behind you and the in the locker room second guessing everything every single mistake you do. You gotta be allowed to go out and play freely like Mahomes if you want the guy to become Mahomes. I mean, that's what they did with Josh Allen in Buffalo. Jimmy Garoppolo is the quarterback that Kyle Shanahan wanted to get rid of, that he traded three first-round draft picks to replace, and now you expect the team to believe in him. That doesn't add up. That's not That's not how you run an organization. Look at Jim Harbaugh, why he's so successful, is he built the guys up around him. right? Yeah. Like Alex Smith, he, he made Alex Smith. He gave Alex Smith life. Everyone wanted him out of San Francisco. Everyone yeah. tries to act like Alex Smith was this world beater when Jim Harbaugh took over. Everyone wanted him out of San Francisco. Jim Harbaugh gave him life and made him a comp, you know, a capable quarterback. Uh, and he built up his confidence, made him believe in himself. He did the same thing with Colin Kaepernick. Uh, and what we're seeing from, from Kyle Shanahan is his whole entire team playing down, including, in my opinion, Jimmy Garoppolo. If you used him differently, uh, he, he would be even better. If you built him up, he'd be even better. But you can't expect a quarterback after – they wanted to trade him. They didn't let him come to training camp. You know, and then you want him to come in and save your team and take take you to the Super Bowl. It's not Bowl? fair. It's definitely not fair. But it's let me not- let me say one thing. It isn't fair, but at the same time, like, and we don't know if if Trey Lance is like the answer or if he's going to be the next great quarterback for this team. But we do know about Jimmy. He, he, he probably would play better for another coach, but he's not good enough. And there is a reason the Niners traded three first-round picks to replace him. They were right. They do need to replace him. He, he's mediocre. He can be mediocre plus, but he's not good enough. And 
That's why Trey Lance needed to be playing this year. That's why they made the switch. They were right to make the switch. They were right to make the trade. But where they messed up was when they balked at the very end. Every other team that did this, Andy, every other good coach understands you got to go all in with your new quarterback and project confidence in this guy. And Kyle didn't, so the locker room didn't. And it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, the, you and I believe – they should have started Trey Lance last year. Make Geno Smith his backup. Get Jimmy there Garoppolo out of here. Get your second round draft pick, and we'd be in a much better go. position than we are right now. Yep. Uh, Niners daddy says Kyle has missed. Got you. Yeah, he really did. Josh Wyatt says it, this isn't as bad as it feels. The Niners will be relevant. They will fix these issues, and their last four games are soft. This game just proved that they had no business going all in. So you're right, Josh. Relevant, maybe. Maybe they'll end up being relevant. But what I when I when I think about the 49ers and when I criticize the 49ers, I'm trying to see how can we get to the position where we can win a Super Bowl. And right now, there's no I don't see a way that there's possible that we can win a Super Bowl against teams like the Chiefs and the Bills. Hold on, let's go through their schedule. All right, so they got the Rams next week. Uh, that's not a gimme. That's definitely not a gimme. Uh, then you got a bye week. Then you got the Chargers. Not a gimme. Cardinals. They're playing pretty well right now. Saints. They could win that. The Dolphins. Not a gimme. Buccaneers, they're playing really bad, but that's Brady. We don't know. Seahawks, tough. Commanders, they could win that. Raiders, I don't know. Card I mean, really, if the Niners are going to get blown out by Atlanta, you can't just say, like, oh, yeah, they got that game coming up because they beat themselves. And they're not a confident team right now, and they know it. They're not a disciplined team, a confident team, none of this. They're vulnerable. And the, uh, I mean, I, I know I'm being real negative today, but all they're going to do is go to the playoffs and get beat by a team with a passing game. I'd like to see them uh, go to the playoffs. They got to do that. Sweet Meat Pete says, how concerned should we be with the O-line? Um, pretty concerned. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but not just yet. GTC Reel says McCaffrey can run great routes, but when you have a quarterback like Jimmy who doesn't know where his blitz check down is, what good does it do? That's a legit point. Yeah. Uh, Fred Nieto says, we've seen Andy Reid with a Jimmy G pretty much. Alex Smith, didn't he go like a whole season without a TD pass to a receiver and their whole offense was screens? Yeah. Andy Andy Reid, so Jim Harbaugh elevated Alex Smith. Andy Reid elevated him even further. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when it was time to get rid of him, they got rid of him. They didn't hold on and be like, "Oh, well, we just need to make sure, just in case Mahomes get hurt, because we're running in between the tackles." Mm -hmm. Lack of heart and leadership is most disappointing, says Eddie V. Eesh. W S Taylor twenty seven. Does Bosa or even Ayuk stay after this year? I'm concerned. I don't know. This is getting bad. The wheels are falling off. It's a slow motion train wreck. That's the other thing I want to mention when I, I know I, I know it's not popular. I've been thinking about this Boza thing for a while. He's one of the best players on the whole team. But you guys got to understand how many players that we're going to lose next year if we sign Bosa for 30, 31 million. There are a lot of people, particularly on this defense, um, that we have to resign. And then on the offense, you guys got, got guys like Brandon Ayu. So where is that gonna, all going to come from if you don't find some money somewhere? And then if, if we want to attack the offensive line position, you have to do that early in the draft, and we have no early draft picks. That's true. So, uh, trading Bosa is not like what I want to do. Let's get rid of Bosa. He sucks. I'm not saying that. No. But this is like an option to help fix everything else. That Kyle is messed up. B B P says, uh, offense, Jimmy Garoppolo weren't good enough for KC, but that O would have been good enough to beat those lesser teams we lost to. But Kyle Shannon was too conservative in those games. Yeah, but you got to go through good teams and win a Super Bowl, right? Like this team just went all – they just traded their draft for a running back. They're all in. It's not about, well, they can beat, you know, Tampa or whatever the bad team is that you're thinking about. Damon Rice, thank you. Game time. Kyle should have been fired after Defoe. Ugh, Robbie Gold, fantasy MVP. Why? So many, so many field goals? Yeah. See, Turley says if Kyle goes, do you also get rid of John Lynch? I, I have mixed feelings about John Lynch. I actually, I mean, aside, aside from the, the blunder with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, I really like John Lynch. Uh, I, like I would him love too. to see him match with a really good head coach. Yeah, I feel like he's the kind of GM that coaches would want to work with. I don't know. Because he, he he doesn't like getting a ego contest with the coach. Dalton Yancey says, trade Kyle, Jimmy, and send them to Baltimore for Lamar. You know he isn't there next year. It's an interesting move and idea. Trade Kyle, trade Jimmy for Lamar. I'm not a – I think Lamar's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but I, I don't – I prefer quarterbacks who can run 
pocket passers who can run have the ability to run. I'm not a big fan personally of just running style quarterbacks. That's I'd just like me. to see the Niners like not give up on Trey Lance after four starts and one broken ankle. Yeah. I mean, I still think they should try to coach him. Carol T says injuries, penalties, and lack of preparedness all on Kyle. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Jacob Tan, thank you. Um, Tony, if Kyle didn't get Trey hurt, Jimmy is traded to Indy this week. Kyle's always a genius in the moment, but his bad decisions have ripple effects. His biggest sin will always be passing on Mahomes. Yeah, I mean, when you make an original sin like that, sometimes it's tough to like work your way out of that. You, you don't undo this. It's a tough one. This was your opportunity and you missed it. And now you're trying to find another one. Maybe you will. And this is a knock on Kyle Shanahan and it has to be admitted. And you can't make excuses about it. No, Keith Murphy, we saw an offensive genius yesterday and he wasn't on the SF sideline. Nah, man. That guy was definitely Bill Walsh would have been proud with what he with what happened with the Chiefs yesterday. Also, I wonder if Joe Montana enjoyed it. You know, he kind of rides the fence with that Niners Chiefs allegiance. I think Jim, I think Jim Harbaugh and Joe Montana were enjoying that game a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Rob Watson's Kyle's a bad coach. This is what bad coaching looks like. You don't need a good coach to replace him. You just need one that isn't bad, and Kyle is bad. Pretty much. Pretty so, much. Sometimes I, there, it's possible that Kyle Shannon can go to a different team, have a fresh start, and be a better coach than he is right now, kind of like Andy Reid was. It doesn't mean that Kyle Shannon is a horrible coach in general. It's just I think he needs a new start, a fresh start somewhere else. Uh, and I, it doesn't bother me if he goes somewhere else and does well because he's not doing well here. Damon Rice says, Jimmy Garoppolo's pocket presence is offense. Oh, didn't have to be this bad. Yeah, man. I mean, his 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 safeties this year are embarrassing, man. Like, do you have any field awareness at all? No. No, he doesn't. Jimmy Garoppolo would be a Super Bowl champion if Reed had the 19 roster. I, I wouldn't give him that much credit. I don't know. Maybe. James Wilson said, Niners won two playoff games without Trent. Uh, lost with him. Always hurt. Always misses blocks. If they trade Trent, they'll save money and get picks. Trent wasn't good yesterday. But he's older now. I don't know if he has a – I mean, Bosa would have much more value. I mean, I think it, there's something that has to be said. Like, they really need to reevaluate where they are as a football team. Are they, is, are they in a Super Bowl window right now with Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback and Trey Lance as a new quarterback? Or do they need to think about two, three, four years from now? I don't know. I don't think Kyle Shanahan is allowed to, though. You're in year six. got to win right now. And that's the whole problem. He's on a different timeline than Trey. Shreddy Murphy says Niners got beat worse than the 2019 Super Bowl. No improvement from Kyle. Opposite, in fact. And that team didn't even have Tyreek Hill. They beat him with Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Yeah, Juju. I mean, honestly, we this team, we, we were saying, Traverius Ward got embarrassed by his former team. Straight up. It wasn't just the one catch he gave him for 57 yards. He got worked all game. By guys like Marquez Valdez, Scantling, who make a fraction of what he makes. I mean, that was his former team making a statement to the Niners like, what did you pay for? And again, the Niners haven't faced a good defense and offense until yesterday. That was, a, that was an embarrassing game from the 49ers. Terrible. And they faced a lot of bad defenses so far this year. Outside of who's the best defense they played? Denver. Denver. Every Denver. other defense has been bad, and they're still not putting up points. So. Wait until they play a team with a really good defense. The Chiefs' defense isn't good, so wait till it's they play, wait till they play a team with a good defense. Dalton Yancey says Kyle and Jimmy to Baltimore for Lamar. Why would Baltimore want Kyle? They have a Super Bowl coach. Yeah. Asia Lee says you both make good points about the offense side of the ball, but it was the defense that got butchered yesterday. Damn straight. D'Amico had no answers. He had a lot of talent. It felt like, if you think about it, Bosa didn't practice all week. Traverius Ward didn't practice. Jimmy Ward didn't practice. Talanoa didn't practice. They just threw in a bunch of people who hadn't practiced against the best offense in the league and were like, go get them. You know, maybe that, maybe that, that's why they were so unfreaking prepared. That, that game was lost by everybody on the team, except for maybe like four or five players. You know, the whole team played horrible. Offense, defense, special teams, the coaches – I mean, you got maybe five that five guys, uh, Robbie Gold, Mitch Wisnowski. Uh, I thought Ayuk had a decent game. Christian McCaffrey, Jeff Wilson Jr. Uh, Ray Ray had a decent game. I mean, uh, George Kittle maybe. Outside of that, the whole entire team was bad. The weapons, the weapons were were deadly, but they scored twenty three points. V says just YouTube Shanahan versus Harbaugh. And you'll see. You said Shanahan versus Harbaugh in twenty nineteen. Well, I must have been lost in the sauce. I take it back. I was wrong. 
Darian Diaz highlights says the mismanagement, the mismanagement of Lance will be the fall of Shanahan. He has lost his mojo, can't call a play to save his life, and most importantly, can't coach trade Bosa. He takes plays off. Eesh. Can I, so in, in regards to this comment about uh, Trey Lance, that's my thing. Like, I don't know if – I didn't like how he used Trey Lance in Chicago. So if Trey, if Trey Lance is – you know, I, they're probably going to – in my opinion, they're going to give him another year to see what he can do with Trey Lance for a whole season. But I don't know. I don't really believe it's, that he's going to use Trey Lance correctly based on yeah. what we've seen. Dalton Yancey says, just want to get your opinion and comment, C fam. LOL. Kyle and Jimmy to Baltimore for Lamar. Dude, he won't be there. Uh, we're looking for a quarterback. It's an interesting option. Might be bold, but it's an option. Thoughts. Um, they don't want Kyle no. and Jimmy. Can we not? Don't give up on. They, they, not just keep giving up on young players before giving them a chance. Can you give Trey a chance first before you just totally give up on him like they did with at running back this week? Well, even though Jeff Wilson was really good. 